In concept code number seven, I shall show you different ways of printing the values thousand and the character G using pointers. Okay, SI yes, contains the initial value thousand, CH contains the initial value G. So what I'm doing in the first step is I'm assigning the address of SI to IPTR, address of CH to CPTR. Then I'm declaring a pointer to a pointer called as DIPTR and another pointer to a pointer called as DCPTR. DIPTR can now contain the address of IPTR and DCPTR contains the address of CPTR as you can see here. Now let's look at different manners or how we are going to print the value 1000 and G. So the first one is quite simple. If I'm saying percentage D and percentage C and if I say SI and CH, obviously it's going to print 1000 and G. We have been doing this for almost for ever. Now if I print IPTR, it will print the address, but star IPTR value at that particular address. IPTR contains the address of SI. Value at address of SI happens to be 1000. So it is printing 1000. Similarly with CPTR, CPTR contains the address of CH. Star CPTR value at address CH. Value at address CH happens to be G. So you are seeing G being printed here also. So far so good. Now let's take a look at this double pointer. DIPTR contains the address of IPTR. So first stage when I say DIPTR it is talking about this address of IPTR. The first star okay will take me to the address of SI and the second star will take me to the value at address of SI which happens to be 1000. So 1000 is again printed here. Same with DCPTR. DCPTR first takes me to address of CPTR. The first star takes me to address of CH. The next star takes me value at address of CH which happens to be G. So thereby you can see G on the third line also. So far so good. Now let's take a look at some more ways of printing it. So here if you see I am saying star address of SI. Address of SI whatever is the number doesn't matter. Star says give me the content or value at address of SI which happens to be 1000. Same here. Star address of CH. Give me the content at the address of CH or at the give me the value of address at CH which happens to be the alphabet G. Now address of IPTR. IPTR will have some address. The first star will give me address of SI. The second star will give me value contained at the address of SI which happens to be 1000. Same with this address of CPTR. Okay. The first star will give me simply it will give me address of CH. The second star will give me value at address of CH which happens to be G. So you are seeing this particular G fellow also here. Now the last one address of double pointer address of double pointer okay and this gives me address of double character pointer. The first star will give me address of IPTR. So the first star gives me address of IPTR. The second star will give me address of SI and the third star will give me value at address SI which happens to be 1000. So you are seeing 1000 again here. Come back to DCPTR. Address of DCPTR. The first star will give me what? Address of CPTR. The second star will give me address of CH. Then finally the last star will give me value or contents at address ch which happens to be g and you're seeing g on the output screen. So I hope this made sense of trying to print the values of the variables using different types of pointers to enhance your conceptual clarity. Please do not come to this code demo code directly. Take a look at the detailed explanation and then come and look at the code to make complete sense.